All right, welcome everybody. Here we are, ready for some strength training. Getting warmed up. Up and over with your elbows. Reach up and over. We are gonna start the Lloyd Athletic Club class again at one o'clock, Tuesday, Thursday. Morning class is already going. The Lloyd Athletic class, one o'clock. We're gonna start that up in about two weeks. Probably do it the day before Thanksgiving and then come back the following week. Do once that week, let everybody rest for a week and then come back. Press down, heel touch. It's actually November 23rd, 2021. It's a new beginning again for the class. reach up, but we'll keep doing what we're doing here online. We're going to keep advancing this and gaining more people. Reach across. Still have to wear masks at the club. Don't have to wear masks here. It's kind of nice. Up and over. It's not so bad, but it gets tiring. Or when I'm on the bike doing exercise pretty hard, it kind of gets to be a bit much sometimes. Let's do some rotations. Other direction. But I like this format. I got to hang out with my cat for while for half hour it's still in bed hanging out waiting for me but uh you don't get to do that i'd have to be in traffic for that half hour other direction Move this monitor so i'm not looking down there Side to side. All right. So we're gonna work some strength training. Today we're gonna work some hold or some pulsing actually. Holds and pulsing really is kind of the reality. Let's start with the band. Uh, so go ahead and get your band out. Uh, you can stay standing or seated either way. Um, let's go ahead and put the band behind the back. We'll do a chest press. Open up some lines here. All right, so we do some chest pressing just like so. Hopefully you know how to do it. You wanna choke up on it, make it tight. So we do about 12 of each of these and then we're gonna do some pulsing. Fairly slow. Good, now hold it here. Uh, so you're almost extended, but not quite. And then you're going to just pulse forward. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We'll do 10 of those. And then we hold here kind of not all the way back, relaxing the muscles, but kind of tightening the muscles a little bit. And again, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10. So we do three rounds of those. And again, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. Oh, good. Let's move on to the another one. Next one's going to be triceps. So we go over the shoulder and we put the band through the back side of the handle. I'm not hitting my microphone there. And press it down. We do press down about 12 times. Over here. Get used to all this stuff. Keep pressing almost there to the holding that is. 
All right. There we go. Now I don't have to worry about it. So let's go ahead and press a little bit down. And so you're kind of holding and pulse it out. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So hold it a little bit again. Still a little bit of muscle on it. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Just bring it back just a tiny bit. And last one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Excellent. Let's go ahead and switch sides. So put the other hand through the back side of the handle. Grab on in front. And let's start with the 12. Find your tightness there as you do your 12. How uh, tight you want it. Six more. Good. So let's go ahead and try the pulsing now. A little bit of extension. And one, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine, ten, and relax. Relax just means coming to here. So you still actually have tension on it. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And this is your resting position. Hold it. Last one. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and relax. Good, let's go ahead and go with the pull down. So we're here. And you can, again, be seated or standing. And you're gonna take and pull the weight to your chest. Do that about 12 times. It's working your lat muscles down in here a little bit. A little bit back. Do about four more. Good. So here we go. Get it out. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Relax just a little bit, still holding. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Relax just a little bit. One more. Exhales. And relax. Great job. Let's go ahead and have a seat. We're going to do a row next. So put the band underneath your feet. I think you all kind of know, but you want to have the band underneath your shoe. And then you cross the handles, both shoes. Make sure it's solid down there. And we'll just start with 12 to 15 rowing back. Relaxing those shoulders, keeping the elbows down. Three more. Excellent. So then we pull it back and one, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Relax for just a little bit there. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Rest a little bit. And go. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ooh, excellent job. Let's take the band and bring it up. Uh, underneath the legs, over the top, make it nice and tight. And whenever you're ready to start doing your 12 to 15 reps here. So we'll have the feet pretty close together for this round. Good, so then go ahead and pulse it out. So bring it out a little tightening and go. One, 
two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good. Still a little tension on it, but relax a little bit. And again, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good. Rest. Rest is still tension. That's our resting spot. And go. And relax. Good. So stay there. We're just going to rest. But take your feet out in the meantime. And this will change the muscles that we're working. It'll be more rear end, glutes. Make it nice and tight. Start with your 12 to 15. One, two, three. Nice and long range of motion. Good, here we go. We bring it out and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Rest for just a little bit. That's still tense though. And begin. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Rest a little and go. Excellent. Okay. Let's go ahead and stand up with the band. Got one more to do with the band. And you could do this seated. It's just a little harder, I think. Uh, biceps. So put the band underneath the foot. And we're just going to start with this one. Just do the one side. Start with your 12. Exhale up, inhale down. Four more. Good, here we go. Tension and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. A little bit of tension. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Again, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10. Excellent. Go to the other foot. Remember, you're only pulsing about an inch or two. It's not a very long distance. So here we go. Start with your 12. Excellent. So then bring it up. Tense and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Relax. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and relax. Last one, begin. Two, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Perfect. So go ahead and get your Weights out next, we'll go with those. Next, we're gonna do some leg exercises. So get your dumbbells, grab a drink of water or whatever you got there, take a little break. That kind of gets your heart rate up too, the pulsing. Okay, so what we're gonna do is sit back with it, working those lunges. So we'll do about 12 lunges. If you wanted to, you could do shoulder shrugs if you're seated or whatnot. You don't have to do the lunges. And then when you do the pulsing on the shrugs, you'll just do that sort of thing. So that's your option there. And so let's do three more of these. And so here we go. Come down and down further. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Only up about an inch or two. Hold it and begin. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Up just a tad bit. Call that the resting position. 
in karate, our resting position was to get in a push-up position and hold it there like a plank. So whenever they wanted us to rest and listen up, we just go to resting position. Here we go. One more, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Perfect job. Let's go up to the balls of the feet next. So start with that motion. Good. We can go lifting with the arms at the same time. Okay, so here we go. Come up and up just about an inch. One, two, hands, two, three, four, five, six. So you have options, nine, 10. You could just do the um, arms. Remember, we gotta stay in resting position and begin. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. Rest, that means come down just a little bit, still holding, working those muscles. And begin, getting that heart rate up. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. Great job. Good, so let's go ahead and have a seat. If you're not already. And we're gonna do the chest press next. Chest press, so we're gonna sit forward a lot lean back, keep the back nice and straight, and fill goal position with the arms up and together. Palms face out. Kind of think of like you're drawing a pyramid here with your hands. Pyramid. And it's okay to let, put your head back a tad bit because you're leaning back that way. About four more. Excellent. All right, here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Relax. One, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good. Now you could use your abs there too a little bit. Uh, as you're resting, you can just watch me for a second, but you would just go up out of your chair. Try to take the chair back off the chair just slightly. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I like that one, something new. Let's go ahead and do side bends next. So put the weights in one hand. Kind of nice just to go through these. Do the 12 reps and then work the muscles a little harder. There's four, five, six. Nice big range of motion, seven. It also kind of lets you know what part you're really working. So on this part, we're gonna come up and hold this way. So you're mostly working the side right here. And so our pulse goes one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good. Still holding a little bit. And pulse. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Good, still hold a tad bit. And last one. Breathing on this is good. Good, it tightens those muscles even more. All right, let's go ahead and switch sides. You can got the heart rate up with this one. So range of motion. We got seven there, eight, about four more.
Good. So hold it and pulse it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Hold and go. One, two. And relax and hold. Work those breaths one more time and begin. And relax. Good. Let's go ahead and do a palms up thing now and we'll work the back. So, this is great for your posture. All this computer work we're doing, at least this computer work, we're not messing up our posture. So, 12 of those, good big range of motion. Really trying to squeeze, open the chest. About four or five more. Good, and then you're gonna hold it and pulse. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. It's not a big range of motion. You might think of squeezing a pencil with your shoulder blades. So go get yourself wrapped around the pencil and squeeze. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. And relax for a second, but don't relax too much. You almost should be like this all the time. A little tight there. Opening up the posture. And begin. And relax. Next one we're going to do is a reverse curl. So remember, we've done the forward curl. But the reverse curl works your forearms right in here. So let's do about 12 of these. Sometimes it helps to have your hands, elbows out a little, but you don't want too much pressure on the shoulders. So find the right spot there. So after a while, you feel it a little bit in the forearms, nice and slow. It's good for your grip strength or pulling things up, picking things up. Okay, so we're here. And we're gonna go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Come back down to here. And again, one, two, three, four. A little further range of motion. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Like three inches seems like a good. Good work out there. And go. One, two, three. So a little further, come all the way forward. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. Keep going. 13, 14, 15. All right. Good. Hopefully, you feel that in your forearms there. Uh, we could do some wrist curls that way. Let's try that. So just tuck your elbows in, and you're just going to let your wrist droop and then curl up. So we'll work the front of the forearms. About six more. Good, so here we go. One, two, just that curve, that in part. Keep going, five, four, three, two, one. And begin, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Relax. Last time, ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. All right, good. Shake your arms out. Hopefully, you feel that a little bit. Uh, let's go ahead and set those weights down. We're going to get the ball out if you have your ball handy. I noticed around Portland at the dollar stores, the small balls are 
in stock at quite a few of them. So you can always get an extra one there or a different size one if you need. Um, but I still have probably a few on hand too, if you, if you need a ball. So put the ball at your lower back and inhale back, exhale forward. So we'll start with just this little range of motion here. It's not a huge range of motion, but you might think about how far you can go back and also coordinate the breath. Inhale back, exhale forward. Good, so here we go, let's come up. So you're kind of tensing those muscles and leaning back slightly and you're gonna just come up, up. But let's go slow, not real fast pulses. So I almost touched the back to the chair, but not quite. Two more and relax. All right, the next one, what I want you to do is pull your belly button into your ball. And we're just gonna do 10 of those. So you might not even see that I'm doing it, and, but here we go. Four more. And relax. Looks like I'm not even doing something, but I'm definitely working out there. Uh, last one I want to do with the abs. You're all the way back and you're just going to slightly almost sit up and then go back forward. Like it was just, you thought, oh, that was too much. I'm just going to sit back. All right, here we go. 10 of those. I really like those. That's kind of nice. All right, so now we're going to do lower back. So take your ball to upper shoulder blade level. Cat rolling around back there. And what we're going to do is press back and relax. It's not so much about opening the chest and squeezing shoulder blades, more about just pushing your back into the ball. And that forces you to work your lower back muscles. So just think about it that way. Do about 10 of them. Good. So here we go. What we're going to do is just hold the ball against the, the chair and now press harder and harder. Like you're trying to shove a closet door shut. Too much stuff in there. See, functional exercise. Last two. And relax. Maybe not relax too much. Hold up against the chair. Remember, this is our resting position. And begin. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And then hold slightly. And begin. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Good. Go ahead and set your ball down. Well, no, uh, a lot of people like to do the leg thing with the ball underneath. So let's do it that way. But you can get rid of it if you don't like it that way. Or if you don't have a ball, it doesn't matter. But we're going to start with leg kicks. Kicking, just a nice range of motion. About six more of those. This will be our last one. Then we're going to stretch out. Last two. And now here's your hold. And just like we've done before, we're just going to raise it up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Keep holding there. Tighten the muscles the whole time. 
and again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And then hold it tight, resting. Last one, go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, let's go ahead and switch sides. That's kind of nice. You get 30 reps in plus the 12. That's almost 42 reps, right? That is 42 reps. A lot of reps. Okay, so now we're going to hold it and pulsing one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Hold for just a tightness here. And again, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Hold. And begin. Perfect. All right, we're done with that strength training and all that holding and pulsing. Now we're just going to uh, stretch it out. I'm going to turn to the side just so you can see me all the way. Right leg out. Really pull those toes back. Take a deep breath in. And exhale. Keeping your back nice and straight, taking your chest to your toes. Go a little further. Okay, and then rock your foot forward and back. Good posture. I always imagine that this is like my posture foot bump. And when I do this, it reminds me to, because you always tend to look down and do this sort of thing. So this is my foot pump, pumps up my posture way I see it. Side to side. And other leg up. Deep breath in. Just take some nice breaths. Go a little further. Excellent. And then go ahead and do the forward and back. Good posture. Side to side. Just a little stretch each side of the foot. And then we're gonna face this direction, putting one leg back, reaching up with the same arm as the leg that's back. Stretch the belly out, deep breath in. And then bring both feet to the side. Rotate back. And back to center. Inner thigh stretch. Nice and wide, lean into it. Try going to one side here. More stretch on that inner thigh.
and other side. Okay, we'll face this direction with that leg back. As far as you can go, reach up. And then bring both feet to the side, rotate back. And back to center. Let's take two deep breaths here. Inhale, reaching up and exhale. Deep breath in and exhale. Namaste. Thank you, everybody. A little blend of yoga there at the end. I'm so relaxed. All right. So let's unmute you. Hold on, stop the recording.